Hey everyone, welcome back. So before we get into your reading, I just wanted to quickly let you guys know that this video is being sponsored by Keen, okay? Keen is a psychic platform and they're offering a really, really good special to their new clients, okay? So if you're new to Keen, your first 10 minutes are only $1.99, which is a really, really good deal. Um, you can also see their ratings and their reviews, okay, for their advisors. That way you're comfortable when you make your decision about who you want to talk to, okay? So whether you need insight into your love life, your career, maybe just have some general questions and Keen definitely has someone who can help you. All right. So yeah, if you're interested, there is a link below in the description box. All right. So that's that. Let's get into your reading. All right. So Pisces, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Of course, you guys know that this is general. Okay. So it may not resonate with all of you. Just take whatever parts fit for your life or your situation. If it does. Okay. Let's start with your person. So they've got the devil along with the knight of wands and the ace of cups. There's love here. Yeah, this person, they do have feelings for you, okay? Now, some of you, this isn't just like love or feelings. There's actually a fixation or an obsession here, okay? Um, I see a lot of sexual energy, a lot of attraction, desire, lust this person feels towards you. Now, some of you, there's no contact, okay? Because your person does have the high priestess here, which I'll get to that energy here in a second. But I feel like um, for a few of you, this is someone who you haven't been talking to lately, but you've still been in this person's energy field, okay? Now, some of you, they're toxic. They are. Now, toxicity comes in many different forms, okay? Some of you, they could be um, a narcissist or they have control issues. Maybe they have the proclivity to be a cheater or a hoe, okay, with this Knight of Wands, someone who could have been in and out, hot and cold. I don't know, but this person, um, they definitely have a shadow side, okay? Um, some of you, they may struggle with addictions, could be drugs, alcohol, pills, or, you know, they just, they deal with other options. I don't know, but it's something off or unhealthy about this um, situation with this person, okay? Now, you've got the emperor along with the um, knight of pentacles and the devil. Some of you, this is a Capricorn, yeah, because the devil came out twice. I also see um, Scorpio, Aries, maybe a Libra or a Taurus, okay? Doesn't have to be, all right? Could be any sign. But yeah, I think it's different groups of you when it comes to them because some of you, you're in love with this person. Yep, you have very strong feelings for them. And if you guys separate or broke up, some of you, you may actually want to come back together with this person. Others of you, I feel like you started to hold back and you're kind of, you know, keeping your distance here. All right, Pisces, I feel like you're actually more so focused on yourself, okay? Your job, your career, your business, if you have one, okay, with this emperor. This is someone who's in control, okay? Someone who's cool, calm, and collected. So I don't feel like you're really, like, tripping off of this person or this situation. Your energy looks really good, actually, okay? Now, some of you, I feel like you held back from them or maybe you told yourself you didn't want to do this. It was a little too intense, too toxic. They were draining you, but you still found yourself very drawn to this person for some reason or possibly um, tempted to go back towards this, okay? Now, they've also got the Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Death card. Yeah, some of you, this ended. Yep, or there's no communication here. All right. This person has some issues, okay? And I'm not trying to come down on your person. And some of you... These issues may not just have to do with you, okay? I feel like they've been dealing with other things going on in their life, okay? Um, maybe it's financial issues or, you know, just stress here with this nine of wands. It could be childhood issues. I'm also picking up for some of them, okay? But I feel like this person, they have this desire to want to try with you again, okay? They feel like this connection has been a struggle, okay? Or challenging between the two of you or if you pulled away from this person, they're um they're feeling like you don't really trust them okay um so yeah some of you don't really see them in a positive light and they know that okay pisces but anyway i feel like this is them kind of wanting to try again but they end up talking themselves out of it or they just they don't say anything at all okay i'm seeing that some of you this is the type of person who takes the um coward's way out or they just they pull away without you know talking to you or opening up they'd rather just keep their feelings or their emotions to themselves okay now some of you this could be um a telepathic bond here or spiritual connection maybe even a soul tie okay with this um high priestess now with this death card this can also speak about change and transformations so i feel like they're going through a lot yes behind the scenes so okay they're not telling you they're not showing you what's like going on with them here okay with this high priestess now you've got the nine of cups along with the um, Hierophant and the Six of Wands. Now, some of you, 
you want a committed relationship with this person, okay? This speaks about marriage, long-term commitment, loyalty, all of that. So some of you are willing to, you know, work things out with this person. But others of you, I feel like you're single, Pisces. Yeah, you're just doing your own thing. This Nine of Cups is about satisfaction, wish fulfillment. This is you eating good, drinking good, you know, shopping and, and focusing on money and trying to live your best life. Okay, you're doing a good job is what I'm picking up here. And then the Six of Wands is about victory, success, winning, you having the upper hand. Okay, so I don't know if it's in this situation or just, um, you know, you're focusing on your personal goals or just other things that you've got going on. Okay, that you want to be successful at. And it, it may not have to do with this person, okay? But either way, your energy looks good, okay? Now, they've got the Page of Pentacles along with the Seven of Wands and the Emperor. Some of you, this person, they have issues with communication, okay? Because it's only one card here talking about communication, and it's the Page of Pentacles, which represents a damn breadcrumb, okay? Meaning that this person, um, they're very dry with you, okay? They kind of keep things at a surface level or they don't talk enough, they don't open up. Um, about their feelings okay now this is them maybe wanting to fix this or come towards you but i feel like this person sends you mixed signals okay because one minute they're wanting to fix this the next minute they're being defensive or guarded and shutting down on you again okay or pulling away all right and then with them having this emperor this is someone who's not taking any action okay this person may have a very big ego as well some of you are married yeah that could be a married man or maybe a married woman okay if you're a man watching but yeah, I feel like this person, they're just kind of choosing to, to hold back from you, even though they do have this um, desire to connect with you, okay? Now, you've got this Empress along with the Three of Cups and the King of Cups. Yeah, like I said, some of you, you love this person, okay? And then the Three of Cups can, you know, speak about people coming together, spend time with one another, um, hanging out, socializing, you know, and just, um, you know, being on a good note, okay? So I feel like some of you do want this to work out. And then others of you... I see you just, you doing a damn good job with, with yourself, with your life, your job, your career. Just, I see you doing your thing, okay, Pisces? The Empress is someone who's also focused on growth, expansion, focused on her future. She has a lot to offer. She's got a lot of potential, okay? Some of you, you have to stop suddenly with this person or this situation, okay? So I see you kind of coming back into your power. Some of you, you could be dating someone else or you're interested in other options, all right? But um, anyway... Let's talk about these um, additional messages that came out for you and this person, okay? And then we'll talk about your two um, two messages from the universe and then close this out, okay? Now, these may resonate. They may not, okay? Just take them if they do, all right? But, uh, but your person has healing, okay? And it says healthy, happy, peaceful, repaired, recovery, releasing pain, okay? Now, some of you, they may actually want to fix this. Maybe they just don't know how, okay? Maybe, um, maybe they don't know how to communicate or tell you how they feel, all right? But... Um, I think they've got some work to do within themselves, okay, Pisces, or just issues that they've had going on even outside of this connection, all right? So some of you, they may actually want the two of you to be in a good place here, okay? Now, they've also got single, okay, and it says, I like to have my freedom. I'm okay with not being in a committed relationship. Well, some of you, that's what made this connection toxic because they wanted to um, keep you and whoever else do their own thing. They could have been non-committal. All right, now, um, I don't know if that was an issue with you or not, okay? But some of you, they are trying to focus on themselves, okay? Or they're just not ready yet for a committed relationship. Some of you, you're not going to wait around on their ass either, okay, Pisces? Um, now, you've got stranger, and it says, we used to be close, but now it seems as if we don't know each other anymore. We've grown apart. All right, so some of you, maybe you treat this person like a stranger, or you feel like they've done this to you. They're the one who pulled away here, okay? But I don't see a lot of um, communication here for a few of you when it comes to this person. Now, you also have combative, okay? And it says arguing, disagreements, harsh words, fault finding, proving points, aggressive and angry. So I don't know if you guys are in this energy now with this person, or if this was happening in the past, or this could be that you just, uh, it's something about this person that just doesn't sit right with you, or they kind of piss you off or rub you the wrong way, is what I'm saying here, all right? Now, let's talk about your uh, two messages from Spirit real quick, okay? Now, these may have nothing to do with this person. It could just be a message that Spirit wants some of you to hear. Just take it if it applies, okay? So it says, dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated 
or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change, okay? I feel like this is spirit saying, don't be afraid to be yourself, okay, Pisces? Um, some people, you know, not like that, and that's okay. Whether it's friends, family, you know, co-workers, people online, you know, social media, whatever it is, you just be you, okay? And yes, sometimes you'll get criticized, especially those of you that are in the public eye here, okay? This is someone who could be famous or who gets a lot of attention. Some of you might be um, social media influencers is also what I'm picking up, but this is you not being afraid of judgment or being afraid to be yourself. Who who gives a shit if they don't like it, okay? You have to live for yourself and not worry about what other people are going to say or think, okay? Now, um, you've also got creativity, and it says, we, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity that you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence, okay? Yeah, some of you, this, um, this definitely has to do with creativity, okay? So some of you, you could be some sort of an artist or someone who's very talented, gifted, or you, um... There, there's this need for you to tap into that type of um, energy or potential here, okay? Maybe it can make you some money, okay? I see some of you starting an online business or just um, working for yourself here, using your talents or your gifts, okay, for some of you. All right, so that's that. If any of this resonated, Pisces, feel free to like and subscribe, okay? I appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish you the best. Take care.